There are currently two main light sources used for curing in the UV curing industry. One is high pressure mercury lamp light source and another is UV LED light source. The spectral range of the high pressure mercury lamp is relatively wide, with only the 365 nanometers band used for curing. The instrument needs to filter out other wavelengths when measuring. UV LED light source is a narrow spectrum light source, for example, 365 nanometers UV LED light source, the light source emits all the wavelengths can be used for curing. Commonly used UV LED curing light sources are also available in 375 nanometers, 385 nanometers, 395 nanometers, 405 nanometers and other wavelengths. LS-128 is an instrument for testing UV LED light sources, measuring energy, power and temperature simultaneously. It uses a wide spectral response of 340 nanometers to 420 nanometers and can test common UV LED sources such as 365 nanometers, 375 nanometers, 385 nanometers, 395 nanometers and 405 nanometers. The instrument can be used for exposure machine testing to assess the UV intensity of the exposure machine and the uniformity of the light source intensity at various locations. When it is used for curing light source testing under automatic mode, the curing time can be precisely recorded and the state of the light intensity distribution of the light source can be analyzed according to the power curve. UV power sampling rate of LS-128 is 2048 times per second, with built-in high precision temperature detector, which can come true simultaneously measure the temperature and power values and display the power and temperature curves. It can be connected to the computer via USB to read test data, generate test reports, and print them. Some basic operations and setups about the LS-128. Short press the power button to switch on. Stop means stop measuring status. M represents manual measurement mode. Press the power button and the instrument prompts for a new measurement. Confirmation it. Run marking indicates that the instrument is in measurement mode. Now place the probe under a UV LED light source for testing. After curing, turn off the light source and remove the instrument. In manual mode, the power button has to be pressed manually to stop the measurement. The run symbol changes to stop. Max indicates the maximum value interface, which contains energy values, maximum power value and maximum temperature value. Short press the select button to switch to the real-time values interface. RT represents real-time values. The screen shows the duration of the test, the power value, and the temperature value in real time. Short press the select button to view the power curve allowing you to analyze the overall distribution of the light intensity. Press it again to see the temperature curve. The above is the process of testing in manual mode. Next, we will show you the testing methods in auto measurement mode. Press and hold the power button to switch off the instrument in stop mode. Long press the power button in the OFF state to enter the setting interface. Short press the select button to choose the measurement mode, then confirm it. In auto mode, the trigger value threshold for power needs to be set. When the received light intensity is stronger than the trigger value, the instrument starts measuring. When the received light intensity is less than the trigger threshold, the instrument stops measuring. The instrument actually measures the light intensity of this section. Now we see the threshold range as 5-50MW slash CM superscript 2. Then we can set the threshold to 27 milliwatts per square centimeter. After confirming, the instrument enters the smoothing setting interface. 
You can select the corresponding option according to the power supply frequency of the light source. The instrument has both corporate and national standards for you to choose from. The factory default setting is the corporate standard. After all settings is finished, the instrument enters the measurement interface. The screen shows the last measurement data. A indicates automatic mode. Stop indicates that the measurement has not yet started. Press the power button and then select yes to start a new measurement. When the light intensity received by the instrument is less than the set trigger value, the instrument is in a waiting situation for a measurement and a ready symbol will displayed in the screen. Now place the instrument probe under the UV LED light source and start the testing. When the light source is switched off, the instrument is removed. The run marking changes to stop due to the light intensity received by the instrument that is already below the set trigger threshold. The interface you see now is the maximum value display. Short press the select button to switch to the real-time value interface. It shows the precise duration of light recorded by the instrument. Press the select button again to see the power and temperature graphs. The advantage of the auto mode is that the curing time is recorded accurately and the light intensity curve corresponding to the curing time is clearly displayed. The disadvantage is that when the curing machine is made up of several light sources, if two light sources are at a certain distance and the light intensity in the middle of the light source is less than the set threshold, the instrument will automatically end the measurement early and the following light sources cannot be tested. How to use the software of LS128 a USB disk is included with the instrument, inserted into your computer. The software for the UV energy meter does not need to be installed, it can be opened and used. The icon on the software is read until the instrument is connected. Now plug the USB cable into the PC and connect the other end to the instrument. Once connected, the icon on the software turns green. Here shows information about the instrument. And here you can set the parameters. Setup means setting parameters on the PC software and synchronizing them to the instrument. Read means that the parameter information of the instrument is read into the PC software. Now click on Get Data. The data from the instrument is synchronized to the software. Click on UV Power Curve to see the power curve. Click on Temperature Curve to see the temperature curve. Click on Save UV Power to save the power data to an Excel spreadsheet. Click on Save Temperature to save the temperature data to an Excel spreadsheet. Click on Print Report to generate a report of the test results. Click on Enter Information to enter the table header information. Click on Print to print out the test report.